Good morning, welcome to Raising Ronies. My husband didn't take out the trash today, so I will. We both kind of do it, take turns, but kind of a habit. He'll take the kids to school and take the trash. He texted me and said he forgot it. Woo! Our big family kind of stuff here. They're on rollers, so it's not like it's hard. See, you just pull it. No problem. Normally, not in such a hurry, I'll walk it down to the end of the road, and we got a long road. Um, I did walk my father-in-law's down. It's in the mobile home park, and it is a long road and hilly. But I needed the exercise, and it's good for me to get out and get the fresh air, so I've done it. Today, I put pitch on the back of the Tahoe. Let me show you. This is a quick and easy way. If you're running behind like I am and don't have time to walk it, have a hitch on the back of your vehicle. And this hitch, I used to have one on my minivan. Um, they're nice. You can go to Napa and get them. And if you can't install them still, ask Napa who their installer is. There's a Napa Auto Care and stuff, and they'll install them. They're really easy. Right. You just take this pin out if you don't want it and do that. Which this one here is a Tahoe and it's loaded, so it's already got one. But those minivans and um, other vehicles, you can have them added. And you can take it off when you don't want it, if you don't want to see it, or you don't want to run into it. Believe me, when you're loading groceries and stuff and you hit this with your shin, it don't feel good. I'm bad about leaving them on, but I just took this one off. I have it on my van too, because sometimes I pull trailers and lawnmowers and, jet skis and different things like that even the boats or the um camper because my van will pull a camper but that's all you do you just lay it on there i don't worry about it it pulls it i don't have to drive too slow it's not like you got to creep it'll go all the way down to the end of the road and like i say i have a long road this helps out a lot when you're in a hurry and you have children like usually i'm pulling this and the twins are going with me which is fine they like to get out and get exercise and they'll go to the end of the road and back with me um, if i'm in a hurry like all the stuff i have to get done today this is the way to go it's quick and easy and the twins are locked down watching tv so that way i can unhook this drop it off and keep going to get my chores done today i'm on one way to take this it takes it's a little noisy but it's noisy when you pull it by hand so it's no big deal I just get it down there a little faster. I stay so busy. I forgot to update y'all on my last doctor's visit. I had it Friday. Um, I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is, yes, they did prove that my eyesight's going in this and that because I went to a neurologist, but she does more of the eyes. Out of all my problems I give them, they send me more to the one with the eyes. So she's like, you've lost so much vision in this one and that one. And I'm like, I already knew that. I can't see that well and everything's blurry. She didn't tell me anything about my loss of taste, smell, my legs hurting, my memory loss. I mean, the pains that I have and different things, shortness of breath, anything, my head. She just said that I do have a little bit of matter that's white there, but that could be migraines. I don't have migraines though, that's the thing. I have a headache once in a while, but it's not like a bad one. And that's probably from stress of doing multiple jobs like I do. I just don't have migraines. Migraines would be something that I hear that people are like in bed, hurting or go to the hospital and that's not me. It kind of scares me that the white matter could still be something to do with my memory loss. Um, from what I've read, it could be like Alzheimer's or dementia. I asked her about my memory and stuff. So now Mommy, she's going to see. Us. Yeah, I know. Googie is following us. But now she's going to send me to another neurologist about the memory. Yeah, it's three to four months off. I guess nowadays you find out about one problem at a time. You can't just go and somebody help you with it unless they just happen to stumble across what is going on. I feel I'm in the same place. I'm in the same boat that I was. Well, I'm still feeling about the same. Um, I've upped my iron. I take more iron. I've doubled my iron. I'm taking B12. Um, I don't feel quite as tired, but I still feel tired. I mean, it just helps a little bit. We can't go, baby. We gotta. I gotta get out and do this. Hey, 
Hey, Cookie, what are you doing this morning? I didn't see you a while ago. No, I didn't. Y'all say good morning to Googie. Googie's always right there. So I pick it up and flip it. And here we go, leaning it. And I'm doing it one hand with a camera. It's not hard. Doesn't matter how full it is. It's not heavy because you're pulling on tires. I only have one, but the county likes for everybody when they have like the mobile home park to put them every two foot apart which they like for you to be able to walk around them i still have some tenants that want to bump a car then there's one there one in front and that i've gave them papers the county's given them papers and guess what they still do it and when i talk to them they're like oh it's not like i'm laughing at you about doing it that tells me right there they know better the county's given them papers, I've given them papers, and they're still not cooperating with the rules. I just don't understand why people think rules are to be broken. They're not. We have rules for a reason. That's why we are supposed to discipline our children, to have them to have respect and to follow the rules. To go to school, there's rules. There's rules in every store, and everybody's trying to break all the rules. Like, oh, we gotta have our pets. Oh, um, no offense, I mean, I love my Googie, but Googie stays at home, I'm fine. I have enough trying to take my children through town and stuff like that, I don't need my dog with me. Rules are rules for a reason. Not everybody is able to have pets. Some's allergic, some scared. I have a niece that is totally deathly scared of animals. I have to lock my dog up every time she's okay with the cats some people just have a fear and it's not their problem people want rights to take their dogs and do stuff and they don't understand that not everybody's like them not everybody thinks the same you know you need to think of others i guess i put myself out there more because i had to think of my seven children my husband my family and then I have to do for everything else around. Anything anybody asks me, I do. And I overgive myself and I run into stress and different issues health-wise because I overdo it. And I'm trying to cut back, but it's kind of hard when your employees or your tenants does not want to do their jobs or what they're supposed to. And then that puts more on me and it's not mine, it's theirs. Anyway, I've got to go to the house and get me a thing to hold this because this sure does hurt my arm. I have got to go run through the mobile home park, make sure they didn't put trash out. They won't pick up anything unless it's just the trash cans. Um, they've got this new truck and they pick up trash cans only. They have these sites that you take your other trash, if it's boxes or anything else, you take it and dump it every Saturday to different locations that's in your vicinity. So I've got to run through there and check that because also there's a dog, a neighbor's dog over there that will tear up. And then I have to pick up the nasty stuff. I mean, meat, papers, everything else, salmonella, yucky, stinky diapers, everything else. That's left up to me because my tenants won't take care of their own stuff. I'm going to go check that. And then I think we're going to Old Salt. And let's walk through it and see, you know, what we've done and accomplished and what we like. Okay, I'm back. I got my little handheld tripod thing. I'm gonna learn how to use it, I guess. I've got so much to do today. I guess you can just follow me around and kind of see how it goes. I forgot I have a mobile home I need to go look at. Y'all wanna go check it out? I'm kind of scared too. They were evicted and I'm really hoping and praying that it looks okay. The only problem is I can't smell. So Brian, I have to go back and check it later for some of that if it smells really bad or if he may smell certain areas that something's messed up or broke or dirty or nasty that I can't and can't locate. Okay, we're at 22.7. We're gonna have to put some stuff on that. Apparently the car leak. There is cigarette butts and stuff like that I'm gonna have to pick up. Even the trash can was nasty. It's yucky. And so I'm sure it smells. But I'm really hoping they left this one clean. We had a weird situation on this one and I may can get into it later. There's her smoking stuff. Oh, and I had all that clean. Oh. Yeah, that's nasty. And while I'm trying to get the keys here, 
I'm scared to do this because after that last one threatened me, I was kind of a thug that had a gun and all that, and then the cops come out and didn't help me. I'm kind of scared. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me. <laughs> that dude, he scared me last, last time. So I just, I hope and pray nobody's in here. Knock, knock. Hello? It's Amy, the landlord. All the lights are still on. The floors have not been swept or wiped. We give them the move out letter like we always do. If you go back to any of our tenant videos, you know we do a move out letter. The floors and stuff's supposed to be done. It's supposed to be in the same condition as we let you move into. And we do not let you move into something nasty. We put new blinds. And you see they're already broke. So that's the first thing right there. Look, there's a Cheeto. First thing, Cheeto. And nastiness, it's never been wiped. There's something been spilled on all that. Is that my key? Walls are scratched up. I'm probably going to paint all them now. Those have to be cleaned. It's a battery on the floor. The stove looks bad. Ooh, that's caked on. And there's flies flying around here. There's hair and stuff all over it. That's not too bad. They actually had drip pans, but that's what a burn out. You gotta be careful. You can't put drip pans or aluminum foil down there because when something bumps that, you see how close it is. I don't know if you see it right there. It's touching that. That edge, that will burn out that. And that's at least 60 bucks right there. That's just for the part. That's not including having somebody fix it. Here, let me see if we can pull this out. Y'all just bear with me, I'm still burning. What is that? I'm stepping on stuff. I can't believe there's hair. Oh my goodness. So, they did not clean, which I already saw that. It doesn't do it justice. You're to see the stuff. Can you see it now? It's very hard. Ew. There's rat pellets and everything else. So now, we got to get rid of rats. Goodness, at the dishwasher. I'm sure this probably stinks. I'm glad I don't have There is flies and mold looking stuff in there. Look what they done or didn't do. Ew. Dishwashers aren't cheap either. There's still food and bugs in there. There's rat pellets all over there. Ew. Oh my goodness. Can you, I can't see that. See the Cheetos and the food and the rat pellets? Rat pellets? Oh my gosh. We got to get rid of rats in the world. There's rat pellets in each one. Oh, that one's broke. There's rat pellets in every one of these. They wasn't here that long. Look at the Cheetos and different things behind there. Look at the corner. This shows you they never mop and sweep. Okay, let's see what's behind them. I'm glad the power's not turned off yet. I gotta get that out and open this before the power gets turned off. That would be nasty and stinky. And it's already nasty. Okay. You wanna see what's behind the door? Oh well. Well. And they just moved out, and this is how they look. Oh, there's bugs in there too, and hair. There's something way back there that looks like, ugh. 
That's never been wiped off. I, let's pull this out. Let's see if I can get it. I should be wearing some of those gloves in that drawer. Hi, there's Roaches. There's Roaches. Oh, I just saw Roaches. Look. That means it's going to take us several months to rent. This woman is not going to deposit that. Do you see the Roaches? Oh, there's little beady ones and big ones. She shouldn't have moved in. Oh, I want to cry. Let me give you a little backstory real quick. The one that was living here was not the one that rented it. A very well-dressed, well-nice person with a nice car come and was talking about it and she was single and she had a daughter and a grandson that would come visit once in a while, but that was it. It was just her, very well-mannered. I mean, that woman had me just like, oh, this perfect tenant. Should've known better. There's nothing perfect. Everybody lies. I mean, why lie? Why give excuses? Why? What does people do what they do now? Just be truthful for me. I mean, I take honesty. I'll work with you with honesty. Anyway, she rented it. Well, she hadn't even rented it. Let me tell you the first story. Before she rented it, I come in here to do a few other ends, pick up my stuff and stuff after cleaning this place and working my butt off on my hands and knees cleaning. I come in here, it scares me to death. I thought I went in the wrong move home. There was already trash cans, all this stuff, um, pull-ups, different things, and I'm like, what in the world? So I called my husband, he said she had just leased it, and he asked her about it, and she said, oh, well, I had some stuff in my car, I just left. Well then, she's never here. I I'm not gonna elaborate too much. Anyway, someone moved in, it wasn't the lady. She's the one that trashed it. Now, here I am, we evicted her because there was noise. That hasn't been cleaned by no means. That one's not even on there where it's supposed to be. That one's not. That's nasty. This back door hasn't been cleaned. And I didn't expect to be dust and cleaned. I always have to do that. Nobody actually cleans. There's flies flying around here like crazy, but look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Toilets are my pet peeve. Oh. Bathrooms are my pet peeve. Mm. Well, other than I need to clean some stuff out. look back on the video because I can't see up there. What is that? I mean, you didn't have this stuff in here. Take it with you. Throw it in the trash. There's toothpaste all up and down. Mm, the floors are so nasty. There's some repairs, a little bit of painting. This was the closet. I knew this was here. I don't like it. And I may, if I'm painting, I may go ahead and repaint all that. But just look at all the stuff. I don't even know what that is. Oh, there. Mickey Mouse has come. This was not here before this lady was here. No wonder there's, there's Mickey pellets everywhere. Mickey and Minnie has been living in the house. I don't like Mickey and Minnie. Not living in a house, not like this, not these Mickey and Minnie's. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love Mickey and Minnie Mouse, my children love it. But these type mouses, I mean, there is stuff all over the floor. I've got to go wash my shoes. If I step on a roach and that's German roaches, I'll end up taking them to my house. And I don't want German roaches. These walls didn't have all this done. I had all that was painted. And that's gonna be painted again. The floor is nasty. The floors are dirty. This blind's okay though. It's great that not all the blinds are messed up. But 
I mean, it's not like a bug that was squashed. And there's, look at all these. Some of these are dead. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Guys, room number two, pet peeve. There is flies and gnats. Oh my gosh. That makes me not want to go look at the toilet. And why is the toilet blue or black? Should I even ask why it's blue or black? Let me go to the toilet. There is flies all in here. What in the heck is that? And why is that in here? I don't even know what that is. There's rat pellets and roach. Ooh. There is mold down there. Can you see that? This was not clean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no wonder there's. This probably sinks to high heaven. There is flies. Do y'all see those flies flying around? Look at me. I mean, I scrubbed these bathrooms with my hands. That was not there. What the? What in the heck? Oh, that bathroom. Oh, there's the oh, rat pellets back there. They live in this, but what happened to the sink? Why in the heck is it blue? Or the toilet thing, there's toothpaste on it, it's blue. That's got to be poop. That is so got to be poop. I'm almost tempted to see how much someone would charge me. This floor is all scratched up. I don't know if you can see that. Look, it looks like poop or something, and it's, there's flies all over the floor. Why? What was in here? I don't even want to walk on it, but I've got to check this other closet. I wonder if we can just reach around there. Okay, the closet's clean. Apparently nobody went in the closet. There is flies all over the floor and stuff. Is that poop? Is that human poop or dog poop? Oh my goodness. Oh. What in the world? And there's a hole in the wall. Huh. Say hi. That's like, I'm afraid to touch it. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> this one's gonna have to be really clean and sanitized. Like there's, they didn't leave nothing in here hardly. There's a few things that gotta be picked up and sucked up, but mostly sanit sanit sanitized. I mean, like, the whole place needs to be bleached. I'm almost to the point. Let's just torch it. Especially that bathroom. Oh, my gosh. The bathroom. There, even the hallway looks like poop and stuff going down through it. I so don't know what was going on. But I couldn't live like that with flies. I mean, I've got to get out of here. They're following me around. Okay. I think I pretty much checked out everything. There was, I can't smell, but I'm starting to get choked up. There's got to be something in here that's making me feel sick. And just watching the video, you should know that you're probably getting choked up and you're not even here. Let's switch off all these lights. <sighs> Man. I wonder how much somebody had charged me to clean this place. Thing is, when I hire somebody to clean them, they halfway and they don't clean it well, and then I still have to do it. So do I wanna pay somebody to do it and then do it myself, or just do it myself the first time and do it the way I know it needs to be done and clean? Cause I wouldn't live in something like this. Oh, no, 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 there is no way. I wouldn't live in something like this. Even if somebody halfway cleaned it, I wouldn't move in. So it's gotta be cleaned. Very well cleaned, sanitized. There's gonna be a lot of bleach use on this place. And then there's some painting and a few other things, a little minor repairs. Our thing is, we have three people wanting to rent. And right now, there's roaches. That usually takes us about three months. That's gonna put us three months out. Well, let me go. That way, mommy. Go that way? They're trying to tell me which way to go. 
I told you today's a busy day. I'm busy every day, but today's a little bit crazier because I had to do that. I should have done it a couple of days ago. Brian's been so busy and we had a family get together and stuff that his dad always had and we wanted to do that. We wanted to carry that on. We're not gonna stop that. We, family's important. We took our time out to do that so we could still be with our family and teach the kids to continue a tradition. So we didn't get to inspect that. I can't imagine what he would say because he gags at smells. If he had went in there, he'd have probably run out puking, especially that bathroom. There is flies, and I still feel like I think they were biting me because I am itching. Oh. oh, my goodness. I need a bath. Just going in that place. How do they even get a bath in there? The bathroom looks nasty. How do you even feel clean? Okay, well, we're going to Old Salt the um project our new project that we had that we have a video on here if you want to go back I, that was like the coolest video to watch somebody move because i didn't get to go watch it that day so i got to watch them move that 16 by 80 mobile home and it, so go back and find that one it was moving a 16 by 80 and it was our new project it's taken us longer to work on it but it's just me and my husband here and there we have a little help when we can hire somebody Sometimes it's just me and my husband. We have been working off and on on some Saturdays and stuff, but you got to think that we can't do it all day, every day Saturdays, because we still have seven children. I still have a home to take care of. We still have to cook and clean, groceries, all that. We also have the mobile home park to take care of for mowing and weed eating and taking care of spraying and taking care of stuff over there. The pump and the water well and all that we have to take and have that tested off and on there is a lot of behind the scenes things that people don't see that we have to take care of and do over there but when we can we run over here to Old Salt and I know here and there Brian's posted a few videos possibly or this that I can't remember I'm so sorry I'm my memory loss I wish it would come back I had to wait three months or four for my next appointment but guess what they probably won't be able to help me either and then they'll just send me to the one about my leg or about my taste and about my smell and I'll still have no answers. I'm just trying to be happy, thankful I'm alive and get to be with my children. <laughs> Even though they're having to run around with me. These two are gonna know how to work and clean and cook. And I will pick you back up when I get to our new project that is almost, almost finished. I'm so thankful. Okay. Before I go over to the other new project, I need to make a pit stop because I feel itchy and like something's eating on me and I feel nasty. So I've stopped at my sister's. She's got some um, Lysol. I'm just gonna spray myself down. I feel cruddy, yucky. So anyway, so we're gonna run in here and um, get sprayed down and see if I can disinfect myself so I can go to the other mobile home. What are y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Hey cuties! Hey! <laughs> Are y'all smart twins? We need to go. We gotta go to our project. So ain't Maggie bye bye. So ain't Maggie bye bye. Hi, hey, I'm back. I'm at our new project, which is turned into a long old project. It's a very nice, quiet place here. I wish I had time to clean up all this over here, but I don't. And it doesn't matter when people rant, they're just needing a place to lay their head, play their video games, eat, and go again. Maybe eventually we can get this all cleaned off. Out there, the road's right out there. That's where you come in. And we've got to do our driveway, but right now that's where we're at. We still have some stuff over here to clean up later. The mobile home's looking Really nice. I've got to do some mowing. It's been bush hogged, but I gotta bring the mower over here and get it on down to yard length. All that, my dad planted that tree when I was little. A lot of the mothers, so I would like to get all that cleaned out and back. We used to have a garden, go out there. All this was mowed. I mean, every bit of this was mowed all the way out there. And I got a little storage unit thing I gotta get out and stuff like that. Brian did build this little porch, so that way you could get in and out without um, getting too wet if you had to unlock the doors and stuff like that. And Lisa have been following since then. We've done all the skirting and stuff ourselves. Well, we usually do pretty much everything ourselves. Let's see, I think he built some steps back here. 
Yeah, he built some new stilts back here. Got a new unit for the AC. It's looking really nice back there. But these trees are gorgeous. Look how big they are. They are just, and it'll help with your electricity bill. It's just when we have bad weather, I worry, but they've been here forever. So you're way off the road. You see that car is way over there and you don't even see it. And Brian's next little project, he's got to build a little pump house for this. It used to have one. It started deteriorating and stuff, so we're going to build a nice one for that. So let's get in here and see what all I need to do that I can do myself to try to get this finished. And then Brian can do his finishes. Girls, y'all got some mops and stuff. It is a tape measure. was a different color. Um... It was, I guess, the color back there, that purplish color. So I painted all this, this paper craft that I always say in all my videos that I go with. So I repainted all the walls. So it looks really nice. They were scratched up and everything. Painted all the walls in here, painted going down through here. Um, that had to be done. Brian had to replace that. What? Y'all got to share. This door had to be, frame had to be replaced. I've got to wipe this door down. So we re we painted all these walls. This room I left because um, it's usually a kid's room and it doesn't look bad. It's a light grayish blue. This room, I painted that wall because it was really, really bad. I left that one the blue and I painted this wall because I had to do a lot of redos on that. It had like holes and stuff in it. And then we left that one blue. But that one was so bad. I done a lot of plaster work. I'm so thankful I can feel and see that I went perfect, but I'm not a sheetrock person. It looks really nice in here. Then there is a bathroom that we finally got done. I do need to sweep and mop the floors again. I mean, I've swept and mopped so many times, but you know, everything's been clean. So I'm fixing to put up, we always put new shower curtain rings and shower rods. I've got that to do. We clean like the ceilings, we clean the um, fans, we clean the light fixtures, put in new bulbs, wipe down the walls, clean everything in here. I mean, cabinets, everything. We vacuum out those. Um, we do that in every room because I wouldn't move in on somebody else's stuff. Okay, let's go back in here. I don't like girls. You're not sanding. I got my pile of stuff that has got taken out when we don't need anything else. This one up here is trying to measure something. What are you doing? Are you going to dust? Okay. We took all the pans out. So I bought new trip pans put in here. That's rusted, but it's been clean. I've got to finish cleaning these, put them back in. Painted all these walls. Them walls look really bad all through there, all down through the hallway. I am putting the sticky stuff in the cabinets. Oh, I forgot. I need to tell Brian about that. Oh, I forgot. I bought a new razor blade the other day, so I've got to finish putting that out. But yeah, I forgot to tell him about this door. I'm afraid it's going to fall off. And then you see how when they get it wet, it gets messed up. I bought this sealer. We put sealer on every mobile home doors that we get. It's a one coat polyurethane and something does get on these. The paper won't peel because these are not real cabinets. So I do the inside, just a thin coat all over. It's clear. This one is a little different three times protection in one coat. So I'm hoping this one will work. I've cleaned this, but it has rust spots. I don't understand why refrigerators do that, but everything else works. So I'm going to see if I can get some paint and paint that, but I have cleaned everything in there and it looks really nice. I've cleaned all the cabinets, the laundry room. It's actually got a bigger laundry room that you walk in. The door, I need to clean some on it. I hadn't cleaned this door. But so the doors, the front and inside and outside of the doors. But there's Brian's steps that he built and it looks really nice. I bought a blind to go up here. Brian usually does the blinds. I don't know, we may try, but I'm not for sure. This did not have a van over it. So we had to build it. So I bought this thing, which wasn't cheap at Lowe's. 
and he took some one by twos and built a frame and attached it to it. So now you can open it real easy with these little switches and change out your filters. That door, I don't know if you remember, it was broke, so I had to buy some new ones, so I bought those. I also bought new vents. Had to buy one for each side. This room, I don't know if you remember, was brown. Brown, brown, like dark brown. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was that color brown. I didn't do that section, just, I probably should have, but I was so tired and I didn't think when the door closed, it'd be okay, it's when you go out. So we went with the paper craft white. It has a nice size closet. I didn't have to paint in there. It looks really good other than I got to clean the floors. Now this bathroom, we've had a time with. Um, I did buy a new vent for it. It has a nice shower head. Got to put a new shower curtain and stuff up here. The tub is yellow. I don't like that. I've tried cleaning it and I'm gonna clean it again. But that white there, it's okay. It had a crack in it. When Brian went to switch water on, working on the plumbing, water just run down. So you can pay people to actually fix those. And it's some kind of, almost like a rubbery thing that goes and it seals it all off and it's several steps but he done it himself we're gonna try it if not we'll buy a new tub later on this i do not like the way this looks and you can't buy a blind that size so i have some shears i'm gonna take these out unless mine fit and then cut my shears down i bought a panel for five dollars at walmart i'm gonna cut it off sew me a hem in it and put it up there and have it gathered on the top and bottom and it'll look really nice I cleaned up all that. It was, it was a nice Gerber brand. It was really dirty. We're getting there. I'm so thankful. This room looks so much nicer this time. What are you doing? I got trash bags I got to pick up, but it, it's nothing food. It's just stuff. Got that one done, so let's go to the bathroom and get it done. So we got that one done. Put throw our trash away. What are y'all doing? No, don't mess on mama's window. I'm not opening that one, okay? Y'all been sweeping and mopping. It would be nice if y'all could sweep and mop because I really need to sweep and mop this floor. Before I do, oh no, no, no. We're through with paint, baby. We've got to do all the blinds. I mean, every room in the house, and like there's four in here, one in the hallway, one in the bedroom. The bathrooms don't have any, but I do have a curtain to make. Let me put this stuff back down. No, 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 no. They see me painting. <laughs> as long as they don't scratch it. We've got blinds and some other things. I know Brian needs to do this box. It is not attached. Sorry, I can't tell my hands. It's not attached. So we had to buy a new box and a new cover for it. So that's another project he likes besides the outhouse out there, all the blinds, and that kitchen cabinet. I think the rest, I can do my other little odds and ends stuff, and then he will be finished. There, follow mama. Let's go see if this will fit. Come in here. Okay, so I'm back to the master bath. It has these, but you see that one's flipped upside down. Most people have them where they're flipped right. I don't know why that one's been upside down. There's one up there, it's right. So I bought this panel 
which is too long right now, from Walmart for like $5 and something is sheer on the rod. So one panel gathered from here to here will look really nice. I couldn't find no rods like that, so I bought these from Lowe's. It's got its own brackets, but it's a different kind of hardware. I wanted to see if it would actually snap into this. If it will, I'm gonna measure and see what this is and make that rod pocket work for this. That might work. And I wouldn't have to pull them brackets out and do the others and it'll cover them up when I put that piece on the other side of them. Be nice. I'm <laughs> saving some time unscrewing and screwing. And that one would be fine. That will be no problem. Now I need a tape measure. So rod pocket to rod pocket is 44. Let me see what this looks like. If this looks good, I may let it shear if it don't hang down and not even put a rod pocket on the bottom. And that would save me some time on having to go cut this off and sew it. I don't have a sewing machine out. Yes, me being a seamstress for so many years, you think I'd have it where I could, but nope, I don't keep the sewing machine out. And they have all colors of these. They had gray, they had, I think, like burgundy, they have white. I got the creamy white. Let's see what this is going to do. If it'll look good, we'll do it. If not, I'll cut it off. And you see how it has a rod pocket and a header? I'll cut it off where I can sew a rod pocket and a header so it'll look the same as the top. Because I'm in drapes. Put that in. That looks really nice right there. So what do y'all think? If I have it like attached there, I don't know if you can really tell. Let me think about that one because I'm kind of okay with that because I know it ended up getting messed up and I'll just have to throw it away. What do y'all think? Leave a comment below if y'all like it or if y'all think I need to cut it off and share it on because I'll have to do that another day anyway. I'm taking applications for this one. Okay, let's go put in some stuff in the kitchen, the drip pans. Oh. While we're still in the bathroom, I've got to get Brian to tighten these up over here. I don't know what it is about mobile homes, but they always get broke off. So he's got to tighten that back up. I need to put that clear coat on here. You see how it's peeling? Um, if you get really close, you see that? When you get a mobile home, whether you buy it brand new or not, if you put that clear coat on there, it will prevent that happening and will look nicer longer. But because this one has already done that and it's starting to swell, I'm still gonna put it on it and it won't let it get any worse and it'll still look nice. You see there's a little knob missing. Well, there was one in the kitchen missing and I'm not buying a whole bunch of knobs for the whole, all the kitchens. These things aren't cheap no more. These things get very expensive. This one's almost like what they have in the kitchen. Not exactly, but since there was only one in here, I took this one away and put it in the kitchen. So then I bought a new one for here. I'll tighten, I'll have Brian tighten it up a little bit more. I'm putting it on right now where he can tighten it when he fixes that door. So it'll be like that. That'll look nice and that's better than buying every cabinet a new one. Okay, I gotta do a lot of paper. Okay, let's take this with us. We might need that. Let's go throw this in the trash and go to our kitchen project. Ooh, lay down. Woo! And check on the twinsies. Sounds like they're into something. What are y'all doing? We working? What are you working on? The oh, we don't need a camera, a staple gun, and uh, whatever that is. No, we don't need all that. Not for the wall. Mama's already got the wall looking pretty. I don't need y'all to mess it up, okay? The wall's finished, okay? Can you put all that back in the box? 
What are you working on? Hmm? What are you working on, baby? Are you cleaning the floors? Well, the floors has got to be clean, but we'll do that in a little bit. Let's get in here to the kitchen. Y'all come help me. Woo. Okay, can y'all take the papers off of these? And I always check. Yeah, you take the paper off that one, and you take the paper off that one. Everyone's different. Growing up, I always thought there was too big and too little. Well, not always. These have three small ones. Did you get the paper off? Y'all yeah. get the paper off. Y'all can help me. Pull it. Just throw it on the floor. I'll pick it up. I still got to sweep them off. Okay, you got it? You do that one. So I get these from Walmart and Lowe's. I bought these from Lowe's this time. They're a little bit more expensive, but they do the same as the Walmart ones. <laughs> Thank you, baby. It's got to go right there. Okay, now let me find the big one, okay? We got we got one more. What? This one. Find big one. Find big one? Okay, well, we'll put the big one in. It does need a big one, don't it? Okay, let's get it. Up. Got the big one? Go put it in. Put it in. I got some great help. No, 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 no. Look, yes. Okay. We got to flip this baby around. It's got to be where that is. Okay, now leave them alone. Mama's got to put the other things in it. to go back a little bit further but right now I'm going to get these in luckily these things don't burn out much because these things right here the elements are what are very expensive to like I don't know anywhere from 30 40 50 dollars they're very expensive. Now I'm going to wipe that off because I just smushed it up. But it looks like a stove again. Let's see what we have in our bag. I forgot what my next card was. Okay, this is in the laundry room. We have a switch that's broke off. I'll show you what Brian will be doing. I forgot about that's another project he has to do. You see how it has the switch there? So he's got to take this off and do it because you can switch this one on and off. If that was just the fan, it'd be fine, but this is the fan. Most people need the light, so we've got to get a new one of those done. Okay, so that's that. Here's my razor rays for my little project. I was going to clean the toilets again one more time. This I got to put in the refrigerator because nobody's living here, and I'd like to go ahead and put some in there just to kind of keep any odors. I mean, I've cleaned it with stuff. These are great for cleaning floors or anything but see they're just be just enough that bathroom that you saw and the other mobile home that was so terrible I ended up on my hands and knees cleaning and scrubbing with stuff like this because I want it clean and I don't want people's nastiness and then I throw these away when I get through so that's my long hand so I'll take that one back over there probably need a whole bunch more of those scoring stick one of the toilets I didn't think looked that nice so these are nice to have the rings when you get a hard water ring and stuff. You, while you're cleaning, you can kind of scrape it. It's kind of like cement. It kind of pulls out, then clean the toilet afterwards and you have a clean toilet. I keep these at the church. When we, well, when I used to clean the other church, I kept these in each one because people don't use the toilets that regularly and wanted to get rings. This worked wonders. Let me go put this in the refrigerator. Okay, they're buckled. Hungry and <laughs> okay, so I am going to go home, sort some food to feed the twinsies. After I feed the twinsies, I'm going to lay them down, let them take a nap, which I, that means I have to rot them. Before I do that, I will start a load of clothes. Before I left, I did put on some clothes. I'd already washed one load and put some in the dryer and then swapped them over. No, I hadn't swapped them over. 
So when I get home, I got to go put them in the dryer and then start another load because I'll be there for a little while with the twinsies taking a nap and everything. I've got some cleaning and try to figure out what we're going to have ready to eat because everybody's going to be hungry when we get home from a game and that concession food is not too good for you and it gets very expensive. We're going to try to lay off the concession food tonight and come home and eat a meal and then get our baths and go to bed. I still have a lot more kind of going and doing, but I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired. This is one reason I kind of backed off quitting videos for right now because I stay so busy that it's hard for me to carry the camera and I'm not good at videoing and it's hard for me to edit. Plus have the twins with me all the time and everything else I do. I really need somebody to actually follow me around. <laughs> that costs money and I'm not no big channel or anything like that. So you get what you get. A mom struggling to do her own video and editing. I'm driving so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because I'm trying to hold this and drive. In my van I have a little clip up under my mirror that holds it but here I don't. I really 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 need to cool off and relax for a few minutes before I have to get home because this is my like little break period is driving. It's when I get home and I'm cooking and getting cleaning and clothes and twins nap and all that. I've got to enjoy my little bit of ride home. So, woo! There went some of Brian's classes. He's got those stuffed everywhere and still can't find them. I hope y'all enjoyed this little bit of craziness that it shows and entails of my life. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you will, like, give me a thumbs up. Or if you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. That way I'll know if people don't like it. Comment if you have anything that you've seen that might make my life a little easier. That's always a plus. <laughs> being a mom or a grandmother or somebody that's already been there done that leave me some comments on something especially if you have twins <laughs> i just play it by ear as i go um there it's a totally different ball game so if you got some tips and stuff to try to get your stuff done while you have twins i know some twins are usually a little bit they're premature more and this and that mine wasn't they were five let's see 35 weeks born so um even though they were a little early, they were still 6'9 and 6'11 when they were born and healthy, no NICU, no breathing problems. And they have older brothers and sisters, so they are very active, very headstrong, very whew, going nonstop. They, they're they active, they're just, and they learn. It's just amazing. And I tell my husband, I can't make up the stuff that they do every day. If I could just put a camera on them and let them go, live camera that would be cool because y'all would be like oh my gosh this is what she has to deal with every day and these kids come up with this stuff some's bad some's good some's just funny i might try to get some more one day here and there but i stay so busy that when i walk in on a situation <laughs> sometimes i just laugh and sit down or sometimes i just cry sometimes i just like get frustrated and walk off and come back and take care of it later it's kind of funny um they definitely keep me younger and going because i don't have time to sit down i hope y'all enjoyed this video thanks for watching from raising ronnie's